What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. And we're just going to do a really quick training guide today because I'm going to talk about Declan Rice, right? Rice, Rice, baby. 96 overall. He goes from an 84. He goes 12 overall points. He is a really good player if you want to have somebody that is going to be very consistent. You know what you get on the ball when you have control of him, right? So there's a lot of players in the game that... They'll, they'll play good in one game and then they'll just, you know, slip out of, uh, out of I was going to say slip out of, in and out of consciousness there in terms of like how they play on the pitch. But they'll just slip off their energy levels and you'll be like, what is he doing this? Van Dijk is one such player. I often find that Van Dijk is super effective in a lot of games, but then he's always prone to an error or two that can cost you a game, especially in a really sweaty divisions match where you have to be locked in, right? So Declan Rice is definitely one of the picks of the fans' choice English league pack. He's got way to pass, low lofted pass and penalty specialist, as well as man marking, interception, sliding tackle, captaincy, and that all inclusive, all elusive fighting spirit. A lot of people don't have fighting spirit in the game that should have it, but he does have it as a destroyer, okay? Now, a lot of people actually play Declan Rice as a CB, like as a center back, right? The reason for this is because you, when you play him as a center back, it kind of takes away the whole uh, kind of issue with this card, which is his pace and his acceleration. Some people question whether the acceleration is even a needed stat anymore, but trust me, it is if you don't have enough fast players in your squad in terms of closing down positioning, closing down possession when your opponent has the ball, if you want to do a press, you'll be surprised at how effective the press is the more players that have acceleration in your squad. But the biggest thing with it is that when, you are, when you're not controlling the players, they will get back into their position a little bit quicker. It's very no, it's very non-noticeable, but it is noticeable enough if you continue to play at high levels and you'll notice pockets of space creep up with different players, especially if you've got four slow center backs, right? Or three slow center backs and you're back four and a right back, that's a defensive option, okay? So for Declan Rice here, he's got 30 levels to go. Now I'm going to show you something over on eFootballDB here, lads, right? So up first... We have got Declan Rice here, who's maxed out as a 95, right? This is the Fans' Choice Edition, 95 rated. We've got 88 defensive awareness, 91 tackling, 93 aggression, and 94 defensive engagement with 85 passing, 74 speed, and 88 physical contact. This is largely probably known as the best version of Declan Rice so far, which was not the English one, right? We'll get to that in a second, but it was this free one that you could actually sign as a club icon with your five-star nominating contract. I thought he was the best version of one of the five-star nominating contract players that they released. He's an absolute monster. But if you notice here, he, he's actually quite, um, quite similar in stats, right? In fact, he's identical. This card is pretty much identical to the other version, right? So this is the fans' choice, okay? And this is the comparison between them. So you can see that the fans' choice has three less passing, but he's got better physical contact. So you can see that the fans' choice has got 81 physical contact and 77 low pass, right? Every other stat is identical. But this version of him, the, the club icon one, has got 80 low pass and uh, 78 physical contact. So I think that's kind of where really the game has upped itself because of the collision system i think that physical contact is an extremely important stat if you are kind of shoulder to shoulder if you're very physical they don't call the shoulder charge a lot hopefully they will change that but with that in mind um you also have the england pack here as well which the england version of the player has actually got three less physical contact two plus balance and then better offensive awareness ball control and tight possession so it's really you know a non-factor in it they both have around 30 to 31 levels right so we've trained him up very very solid here as a dmf but i actually think that there's a better build of him if you're using him as a cb right because if you throw blocker on him here and heading um, you will have one of the best center backs in the game, right? So we're going to get rid of acceleration. We're going to leave that at 65. We're also going to get the speed down to 70 because we don't need the stamina up that high. Aerial strength, we have more than enough when we go to 78 for the jump. We're going to pop one more on here to defense. We're actually going to take away, we're actually going to put in the physical contact there, but we're going to take away all the passing because we're playing him as a DMF, right? So once we get to the 90 zone with the defensive awareness, which is 14 into defending, we're also going to have the top up of the jump here um, to go to 80. And then the rest of the stats, if you want to, you can either pop five into dexterity to have his acceleration at, at 70. Um, but if you find that you don't really need to have any speed there at the back, 
You can also leave that at 65, which is more than enough. You could also leave it at 68 and still have one more stat there. I would potentially put one more in to get his um, air, or his defense up that just that little bit more, right? You're going to have 96 aggression, and then the rest of his stats, tackling and defensive engagement, are pretty much going to be maxed out, um, you know, Tackling is going to go up to 96. Defensive engagement is going to go to 99. This guy will practically defend for you. He's a 95 overall CB. Um, if you want to go a little bit more attacking, I think you could still use his natural defensive capabilities if you want to go that route. You can go 88 aggression, 89 defensive engagement. Um, you can get rid of really all the jump because you're not going to be hitting the ball that much in your DMF role. If you're playing him in a double pivot with an anchorman or you want to be super solid across the middle, of course you can just boost up his pass into like 85. The dribble and the tight possession is more than enough at 80. And then the rest of the stats is going to be getting up into dexterity for 70 and then 5 into speed. But I think this is a disservice to the card because if you want to make him attack base you have to kind of get rid of all what makes him strong especially his physical contact um and his defendant which kind of like ruins this card i think this is one of the cards where you can't really turn him into what he's not some cards you can this guy is definitely not it i mean even if you go 74 in the dexterity it doesn't change too much with the card you know so i would definitely leave it at that um and balance it a little bit more yes you can get the speed up but i would definitely go with the with the defensive version so that is it for me lads i'll be back quite soon let me know if you're going to spin or skip any of these and what other training guys you would want so my advice is if you have this version of declan rise don't bother for the new one but if you do spin this guy i would would definitely train him as a centre-back.